of my pattern pieces pinned on and now I'm going to cut them out on the line. You'll take one front and one back and put them together, right sides together here at the center seam. You'll match up your notches and your edges. You'll pin that and then most of the patterns that we send you have quarter inch seam allowances, but garment patterns have a 5 8 inch seam allowance and that is so that you have extra room if you need to let something out, you'll have that space there. So I'll get these pinned, stitch this up at 5 8 of an inch, and then you, when you're doing garment sewing you need to finish the edges and if you have a serger you can serge the edges, that is a sewing, a, a machine that will uh, finish off the edges, cut any excess, and make it look really nice. Or if you don't have a serger, you can zigzag these edges um, after you sew your seam. I've sewn my center seam on both pieces, finished off my edges, and pressed it open. Next, I'm going to put these right sides together and sew the center seam. So when you're doing this, you're going to let right sides together. That would help. <laughs> All right. And you're going to match up the waistband area, your little marks. The really important here is to line up your seam here. And you'll pin this and sew a 5 8 inch seam all the way from this side all the way to this end. My center seam is sewn and then I went back with my serger and I trimmed and finished off the edges. I don't like a lot of bulk in that center seam so I like to trim that uh, to about a quarter of an inch or so. So I've done that all the way around and next we will sew the side seams. Alright, so I've taken it and put them right sides together and I'm going to line up my waist and then I, my notches here and the bottom as well and sew my seam here and then also on this side. So let me do that and our shorts are coming together. You can already tell they're looking like shorts. All right next I've done a couple of things after I sewed my side seams and pressed them. I then went in and basted all of my seam allowances down so that it makes it easier when I go to put the elastic in the waistband. The other thing that I did is I finished off the upper edge, this raw edge, where I'm going to be making my waistband. That way I don't have to worry about the fabric raveling out um, and causing a mess while I'm working. So the next step is the waistband. And so what I did was I went to the iron and I pressed under an inch and a half. Okay. Then I opened it back up and I pressed a quarter of an inch under. Technically, if you've got this edge finished off, you, you don't have to do that, but um, I went ahead and did that. And so now I'm going to go and pin this all down. I'm going to find my center back, and I should have marked it earlier, but um, the quickest way to find it is the back pattern piece is always a little longer than the front pattern piece. So if you find the center crotch uh, seam right here and you pull up on your pattern pieces, you'll notice that this back is definitely longer than the front. So I'm going to leave an opening here in the back about, oh, about two to three inch opening so that I can put my elastic through. So I'll pin this and then I'll, I'll do, I'll top stitch this down close to the fold. Next you're going to cut your elastic, your waist measurement plus one inch. You'll then attach a uh, piece of uh, a safety pin or a bodkin or whatever it is that you have at home to the end of your elastic so that you can run this through the casing. So you take your safety pin, you put it into the casing and you start pushing that safety pin through. So I'm going to hold on to the safety pin, push a couple of in inches on to the safety pin, then I'm holding the end of my safety pin and I'm pulling the fabric so that it covers the elastic. So you push and that, this is when you get to a seam, you'll be really happy there that you basted that, and then you'll pull. So you're pushing and pulling, holding on to the different ends of the safety pin. Um, it's pretty easy. As you do this, you want to make sure when you get near the end, what I usually do is I will um, take and pin this in place so that 
it doesn't uh, go into the casing and then I have to dig it out or redo this whole thing. So I'm going to just kind of clip that for right now so that I have that on there. So I'm going to go ahead and run my elastic through and I'll show you what I do at the end of that. All right, so we have our elastic through our casing. You want to make sure that when you come out the other end that your elastic does not have any twist in it because sometimes it can get twisted if you're not careful. And then we're going to take the ends and we're going to kind of pull them out and overlap one inch. You'll then sew across here and sew across here to hold that elastic together. I've pinned this all down and then so that I know where the back is sometimes I'll take either a ribbon or a little piece of my salvage and just kind of poke in there and sew that in so that when I put these on I'll know that I have them on the correct way. When I sew this closed I actually stretch this a little bit so that it's easier to sew right next to that edge. Now I'm going to remove all my basting stitches that I put in earlier and then the last step is to hem the bottom of the legs. So I'm going to finish off the the hem down here and then I'll show you how to fold that. Right, I've turned under a one and quarter inch hem and I've surged my edge so I'm actually not going to turn under another quarter inch but if you haven't finished off this edge you'll need to tuck under a quarter of an inch and make a one inch hem. And we're just going to top stitch this down. You could technically do a blind stitch if you wanted, but these are just sleep shorts, so I don't mind a one inch uh, top stitch along that edge. So I'll get that hemmed up and the shorts will be finished. All right, I've got my shorts hemmed and I'm finished. And I think they turned out really, really cute. Uh, if you've never sewn garments before, a pair of uh, elastic waist shorts like this is a really easy way to get started. It's um, not a hard project at all and once you get going it'll only take you uh, maybe an hour or so to finish it. Um, but anyway, that is our project for this month.